Think about, think about how you do work today with documents. For example, uh, you have a PowerPoint document, right? Or a Google slide. You have to open up Google slides or, or PowerPoint for a presentation document. You have an Excel or a spreadsheet document, right? You have to open up Google numbers or, or you have to open up Excel to, to look at that Excel spreadsheet. Uh, Word documents, right? Google Docs or, or Microsoft Word. You have to open up a Word uh, document or a Google uh, browser to look at that document. So basically there's three three different types of documents and three different applications you have to use to get to those separate documents. And, and even think about the way they look today from an architectural standpoint. If you look at a Microsoft Word document, right? You open up a new document, what shape is it in? It's in an eight and a half by 11 format, right? The typical format you would use for a piece of paper. But think about the last time you actually printed out a Microsoft Word document. Do you wanna work in that archaic kind of landscape or portrait mode inside the confines of a structured piece of paper? That's not how we collaborate today. We don't print off things and hand them to our customers or hand them to our colleagues. We don't really typically print spreadsheets and hand them to our colleague. We don't print off PowerPoint slides and hand a deck uh, to our customers. No, we're virtually presenting these on our screen typically, or we're collaborating with colleagues and customers virtually on our computers. We are not confined to an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper any longer. And that's how we've been doing things for decades. And I think there's a new way to collaborate asynchronously or even real time. So if you've heard of things like maybe Coda or Notion or Microsoft Loop, you'll know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about Zoom Docs. It's a new way to look at things from a different perspective. It's a new way to collaborate. And I've been using this tool a lot lately, and I wanna show you kind of a couple of ways that I've used this tool to collectively consume data and productivity tools like Microsoft Word or Google Docs. So even think about meetings that you've been on, right? And people have shared a PowerPoint deck or a spreadsheet or a Word document, or maybe a file. They're all in separate places. What if you could collectively put all those in one place? That's Zoom Docs. And I'm not even limiting this to Microsoft Office 365 documents or Google documents. What about YouTube videos? What about spreadsheets or tables that you created during the meeting? What about whiteboards that you created during the meeting? What if I could put all those in one document? You can do that with Zoom Docs. Even further, what if you had a meeting created as Zoom Doc and then summarize that entire meeting inside the document and think about reoccurring meetings happening every week? You can now then see all that information in one document instead of spread out across different vehicles. So let's do a quick demo of embedded docs inside of a Zoom document. And for that, I'm going to switch to my desktop and I'll see you in a second. So here's my Zoom client. You probably are very familiar with this. On the very top, you'll really see some icons that you can rearrange, by the way, in case you didn't know this. You can just drag and drop this over here. You want meetings to the right, you can do it. You want team chat to the right, you can do it. Just rearrange them however you want. That has nothing to do with what I'm about to talk about today. I just thought it's a cool trick. So let's click on docs here and you're gonna see a couple of documents that I have. You're actually more than a couple, there's five there. You're gonna see a document that I have and we'll just call that doc tour. Let's open it up, just click on it. So in this document, I created a couple of different ways that we can consolidate all these different apps into one document. For example, here's a whiteboard that I have embedded in the Zoom document. And if I want to, I can actually work on this whiteboard right now and configure it and edit it. I don't even have to leave the Zoom doc to do that. It's a fully embedded whiteboard inside the document. Say I shared a whiteboard inside of a meeting and I wanted to go look at that whiteboard again, I would actually have to go to the whiteboard app. But if I created a document with everything in it, I could just look at the whiteboard app inside the Zoom doc. And I've done this demo before, but you can create blog posts literally right inside your Zoom document. You can embed URLs inside the document. But let's take it a step further. Let's embed just a Google doc inside the Zoom document. Right here, you can see one. I literally have a Google document embedded inside the Zoom doc. So again, think about that workflow. If I had shared a Google doc or a Word doc inside the meeting, I would then have to go to Word or Google docs to pull up that document after the meeting to, to look at that document. Now I can consolidate that and put it into one document, this Zoom doc right here. Same with YouTube videos. I can literally embed the YouTube video inside the document. So no longer do I have to go to YouTube to view the uh, video. I can literally just hit play inside the Zoom document. What about embedding Google spreadsheets or Excel documents inside of a Zoom doc? I can do that too, but you can clearly see, I can now embed that inside of the Zoom doc 
and view it right here, real time or asynchronously. Think about a slide deck that was shared during the presentation. What if I had shared that presentation and then not, I have to, as a user, go back and find that presentation, open up that presentation, but not if I'm using Zoom Docs. I can literally embed that presentation inside the Zoom Doc and easily view that. Look at this. I can see that I'm using Google Slides right here, and now I have 25 slides. I can now go through all these slides in the Zoom document without ever having to open up a separate browser, saving me a ton of mouse clicks throughout my day, because now I've literally consolidated all the information from one meeting inside one document. I can also create tables inside of a Zoom document. So I don't have to actually create a whole separate Word document or an Excel spreadsheet. I could literally just do that inside the document. And these aren't just viewable, these aren't previews. I can really start editing these right here. I don't have to leave Zoom Docs to do that. Should you have pictures or PNGs or JPEGs that you've shared during the meeting or, or might be relevant to your Zoom meeting, you can embed those in the document. So you can clearly see there's a headshot of mine that I've embedded in the Zoom document as well. I no longer have to open up a separate doc to open up that picture. It's right there. What if you had an audio clip that you were using or a recording that you're using inside of your meeting and you wanted to embed that? You can do that too. You can see I have a guitar riff. I could actually play that right from the document. More importantly, what about meeting notes? you no longer have to take meeting notes if you don't want to. You can use AI Companion inside of Zoom and then summarize the entire meeting inside of your document. And you can see that right here. I have a meeting that I created with about OBS. I literally created those meeting notes right from my Zoom document and put those inside the document. So anybody that wanted to maybe miss the meeting, they can literally go back quickly and summarize and read that document right from the document that I created with Zoom Docs. You're kind of nerdy, you wanna put math formulas in here? I can do that too. Uh, maybe you're a coder or a software developer, you could put code in here as well. You wanna keep everybody on track with, with a calendar for your, for your recurring meeting? Guess what? You can do that right here as well. Then you can add events right into this meeting. For example, just click on January 9th. I wanted to add a new event, say task complete, done. So how do I add a quick Google doc to a Zoom document? I'll show you real quick. It's forward slash G for Google. It pops right up, Google Drive. Now I'm just pop in the link real quick. Hit save, and now your document is embedded in the Zoom doc for everyone to preview and read and co-author right from the Zoom document. You wanted to add that YouTube video? Guess what? Forward slash YouTube. Simply paste that YouTube link into here, hit save, boom, embedded YouTube document. And obviously that's not, well, maybe it's not obvious. There's a million things that might be a slight exaggeration that you can add to a Zoom document. Just simply fit forward slash and you have a list of things that you can literally embed in the Zoom document. I won't go through all of them today, but this is a long demo, but you can see all of these bullet lists, numbered lists, to-do lists, just URL links in general, Giphy's or Jiffy's. I don't know how you pronounce it. Files, dates, anything you need to collaborate with your coworkers or customers on the meetings that you're having with them. And that way everything's in one spot. Nothing is distributed anymore. You can have everything in one document instead of all over the place. Actually, Harvard Business Review had a study, uh, maybe it was a year or two ago, that said the average knowledge worker, information worker switches apps 1800 times a day. That's 9% of your workday that you're using to go across different applications, assimilating and collaborating on data. What if Zoom can take most of that away by putting everything in one document? They can. And now think about sharing this document with your coworkers or colleagues that you're having meetings with, and no longer does anyone have to remember where that information is because they know everything is in that one Zoom document. I think it's a really cool way to create these real-time or asynchronous documents that everyone can work on whenever they have time, not just during the meeting, but the entire meeting lifecycle before during and after the meeting. This is one of my favorite tools that I've been using lately, and I come up with new ways to use it almost every day. So I just wanna show you a little bit of the power of Zoom documents and how I'm using it in my day-to-day -day activities to make my life a little bit easier. And if I didn't mention that AI is completely ingrained in this tool, I think marketing would get mad at me. By the way, I just went skiing for the first time in 30 years. I, I used to ski all the time. I used to live in Colorado. Uh, so it had been 30 years since I went skiing and I went skiing over, over Christmas, uh, New Year's break. And it took me about five runs and, uh, and I came uh, and I found my footing and I, and I only fell one time, but, but you know what? I'm really sore still. That's a pretty humbling sport. <laughs> All right. I'll keep this short or maybe short in my, in my world. Uh, I hadn't done a video in a while cause I'd been on break and, but I wanted to show you the power of zoom docs. I'm Patrick Kelly, the tattooed nerd. Have a great day.